So hello, welcome back to episode 10 of the Smoko's Garage. This episode is going to be mainly based around what's happening with Simon's Golf because we wanted to recap and have a finish off of 2019 and all the work that he's so lovely done to it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe and bell button to see future content from the boys. The motor's arrived, that's now mopped up inside the car, ready to um, start basically making sure now all of the intercooler pipe work, intercooler, radiator, fuel system, fuel rail, pressure regulator, all fits. It's loads to do, man. It's loads to do. <laughs> so the engine's been gone in the Golf now for a good few months. We've done a lot of work, you know, on the underside of the car, getting the subframes, getting the brakes. There's a hell of a lot of work that's gone into it, so now we're really excited to have it back. Um, the engine has been completely changed from what's stock. Starting with the Garrett Turbo, it's one of the G25 series, which was revealed in SEMA two years ago. It's probably the most top-of-the-range turbo that you can buy. It's an incredible little bit of kit, which doesn't sound like much, but having the turbo, the smart wastegate, it's been a lot of work, I guess, and a lot of time to try and get an engine in that's going to allow Cy to be pushing 550 brake horsepower so that he can smoke Lance and James on the track. But what I'm going to do now is just talk you through the engine build that we've had done um, and all the different components, see if I can get it right. Let me know in the comments below if I get any of this wrong. The engine we've opted for is the standard anniversary edition fully forged 1.8 turbo. It's had a full nut and bolt restoration done, a full engine strip, the block and head have been dipped and painted. We've opted for uprated ARP head bolts, we have forged pistons and an uprated crank. There's a new uprated alternator, uprated ECS braided clutch line, uprated ECS pulley wheel kit and uprated coil packs. As you can see we've also kept the aircon pump which isn't common in a track car due to the weight but it gets very hot when you drive in the ring and we wanted some creature comforts. We have a Garrett G25 550 turbo which is one of the latest V-band turbos and is a purpose-built competition turbo which was unveiled at SEMA in 2017. We've opted for a 3 inch exhaust system. This has a ceramic coated tubular manifold with a large port runner. The turbocharger, manifold and turbo lines are all stainless steel braided. Gravitune Power have provided the intake manifold with large runners, CNC trumpets and high volume tapered plenum. R32 3 inch throttle body and gas flowed large port head. We've had all that fitted with a 45mm turbo smart wastegate which has a 50mm race port blow off valve. The screamer pipe will shoot flames out of the car which is really important just to show how big the power is. Obviously as I, I think we've, we've we said earlier on with my, uh, my big uh, statement which we slowed down. What I'm going to go for now is is probably all out speed or full detonation. So it's either going to going to blow up or something's going to break drastically. I'm planning on absolutely smoking the fuck out of Lance. <laughs> I'm looking. I, I I reckon I'll do him by a good. I'm, I'm thinking 15 seconds. I reckon I'm, I'm going to do I'm going to do that Honda boy. For me, I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to drive it there, do one lap, have the fastest lap, leave. And drink beer, bit burger all day. Shout out to bit burger. Drink bit burger all day and just enjoy myself whilst I tries to take this, where everything has been replaced from head to toe, which means she's going to be a rattly number. I'd be surprised if one it gets there, if two it can go round there, and if three Simon actually walks out alive. And also, you know, can you imagine building a car yourself for the first time? It turns out to be a golf, and you're doing 160, 170 mile an hour with a road with no runoff, with barriers in a different country on a very average tyre. I'd shit myself. Simon has to really progressively put himself into cars and take his time. This is just, you know, I'm glad he's got the roll cage because he's going to need it. I think this is going to absolutely cane it around the ring and I'm really looking forward to being in the passenger seat, not dying in a car that's definitely not going to fall apart. What do you think of the cars? 
What do I think of the car's new nickname? What is the new nickname for the car? Pipe. Pipe. Pipe? Why is it called Pipe? It's gonna smoke everything. Oh! <laughs> I'd be very surprised if this goes there. I'm just gonna say it. It's a lot of work, so I get stressed out. Every time I come to the garage, he's just shaking his head all the time. Very, ups very you know, and him and Luke talk about cars and they don't, they don't really know what they're on about, so. What are we going to do today, Luke? I don't know, sir. Maybe we should put some more part on the car. I don't know, Luke. We don't really know what we're doing, though. Don't tell the boys. We have the whole thing mic'd up. We hear what they say on a daily basis. So over Christmas, Lance and I have been out partying, having a great time. Once me and Luke have been slaving away. Uh, so Luke's done a section on the golf, on the interior, so enjoy. So as you can see, we've gone for black tweed with red stitching on the seats. The options for the car are really tweed or leather, um, but we felt that tweed looks better. We've opted for Recaro pole positions in the front, and we've had those recovered with that black tweed. You can see that we've had red embroidery and red stitching runs down the side of the seats. That just makes it pop, and it matches the seat belts and the exterior of the car. Those seats then have Recaro subframes and side mounts to match, so they fit really nicely and just to keep it consistent, keep it looking good. What we really wanted from the seats was for it to look as if VW would approach Recaro and ask them to create something special for the anniversary edition. And I think that we've achieved that with this finish. Moving back to the rear seats, again, they customized. The back's been flushed to remove the headrests. Uh, the reason for that is because we've opted for the pole position from the front, they won't have headrests and it just wouldn't look right having the three headrests in the back. What you can see on the rear seats is, as we mentioned in a previous episode, we've had to have those modified in order to fit the roll cage in the car. Generally, you wouldn't have rear seats in a track car, but we felt it would look a lot better if we kept the rear seats. So we've cut out the sides of them, um, had that flushed and then covered. Um, it was an absolute nightmare to fit, but we think that it looks a lot better having those rear seats in the back. And again, it's keeping with that OEM look and feel that we wanted to achieve from this car. The dash has been flocked in a black Alcantara and we've opted for a renowned Monaco steering wheel retrimmed with the same finish. So the gear gate is now non-existent. Um, the reason for that is because we've opted for the fast CAE shifter, we needed to do something completely custom using the black Alcantara and we've opted for the red stitching for the housing. Finally, we've made a small modification in the boot which will allow us to still be able to access the spare wheel even though we've bolted in the speaker system and the surge tank. So episode 11 coming up next and we're going to be bringing back the Smokos GTR which has been away for many many years. It's had a total revamp, it's now a thousand horsepower and we're going to go kick the death out of it hopefully now in episode 11. Also we're going to be talking about what we're doing this year and showing you guys a layout of everything we want to be putting in front of you over the next six to eight months and that's going to be from the Nürburgring. Wow. to testing at track days in this country, to bringing back cars that we haven't seen for years and testing everything we have against each other as many times as we possibly can. And also we want to know what you think about what's going to be fast with the Nürburgring between the three cars that we have. The EP3, which is 300 brake, NA. The hopefully will be running 550 brake Golf Anniversary Mark IV or my FD2, which I'm going to be having supercharged by TDI North. And let us know in the comments what you think is going to happen because we'd really appreciate it because it gives us bragging points when we go for a pint. So, hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you in two weeks' time.